What's up guys? It is your girl Bomb Jalam and I am back to talk some more NBA news with you guys. Free agency is in full effect. I don't know about y'all. When all of these moves are happening, I need some time to process it. It's a lot going on. A lot of people jumping all over the place. And so I decided to make this video just so I could kind of help you guys keep track of all the moves and myself as well because when the season starts after free agency, I'm usually like, oh yeah, I forgot this person to this team. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get a list together, consolidate all these people on each team, so that way I know what to expect when the season starts. So yeah, guys, let's get into these moves. A lot of big names secured the bag this year, which is super dope. One of the biggest names was Chris Paul. He signed a four-year, $120 million contract. His sons also brought back Abdo Miller and Cameron Payne. And they got Cameron Payne for a steal. Three years, $19 million. I'm honestly surprised that that is all he received from the Suns. Also, they brought on board JaVale McGee as a backup center. Bulls yeah, got a scope wide, okay? Tony Bradley, Lando Ball, Alex Russo, and Demar Derozan, and they all got a pretty good bag. I'm not mad at them at all. Utah Jazz, they brought back Mike Conley Jr. for three years. They also brought on board Rudy Gay and Hassan Whiteside. The Dallas Mavericks, they resigned THJ. He's so valuable to that team. I can kind of see him retiring as a Mav, as crazy as it sounds. They also brought back the lovely Bowie, he's so sweet, the gentle giant. And they also brought on board Sterling Brown. The Bucks, they decided to bring back Bobby Portis, but they let PJ Tucker go. A lot of people are kind of scratching their head at the fact that they let PJ go just because of his defense. They also brought back Rodney Hood from the Raptors. And they brought on board Cindy Ojale and George Hill. Miami Heat brought everybody in their mama, okay? They re signed Duncan Robinson and Jimmy Butler, and they gave them a stupid bag. They also picked up PJ Tucker, Kyle Lowry. Wayne Zedman, Marquis Morris, Gabe Vincent, and Max Stress. Now, Max Stress and Gabe, they were both three signs as well. I'm honestly kind of like, this Miami team looks, I know on paper it looks kind of like it. They got a bunch of indie guys and some low, low profile guys, but I honestly feel like this team could be very hard to contain with in the East. I'm not gonna lie, they have a lot of firepower with all these signings. The Pacers, they resigned TJ McConnell, okay? The point guy, TJ McConnell. I know it's not his nickname, but I think TJ is such a valuable point guard. Whatever team he goes to, he has so much value. So I'm glad to see that the Pacers definitely blessed him with a nice contract. And they also picked up Tory Craig and Kiefer Sykes from the Australian Basketball League. Interesting story about Kiefer Sykes. He actually shot a million dollar shot in Australia. And not soon after that, he got the call to come to the NBA. The Spurs, they got Dougie McBuckets, Zach Collins, Jock Landale, and Bryn Forbes. Doug and Zach are some great pickups. I think they'll be, they'll adapt pretty well to the Spurs culture. They seem like very hard workers. Even Bryn Forbes, who's coming, actually coming back from being on the books. Clippers resigns Nick Batum for two years. And we're also waiting to hear, um, as I made this video, I hadn't heard any news about Kawhi resigning just yet. Um, I'm guessing he's probably gonna resign with the Clippers, but um, it's just the the figures haven't come out yet about how much the contract is gonna be. So yeah, we shall see. I would assume he would though, just because that's where he's from. So I'm, I'm assuming he would want to stay in LA, but you never know. Now, the Lakers is another team that brought everybody and their mama uh, to be on the team. They resigned Dwight Howard after he was his 76 years for one season. They also brought back THT. And they picked up Trevor Ariza, Kent Bazemore, Carmelo Anthony, Wayne Ellington, Malik Monk, and Kendrick Nunn. Now, a lot of these pickups are very short, one to two years. A lot of people have been saying the team is very old, but not everybody on the team is as old, actually. When you take out Malik Monk, THT, Kendrick Nunn, um, and Kent, not everybody is like in their 30s or 33 plus. It's just so many different play styles. Um, 
I'm not sure what to expect. I'm, I'm gonna be a hundred. I really. I'm seeing the vision somewhat, but I'm, you know, it kind of like hindsight is 2020. So right now, I'm, I'm looking at this on paper. And I'm just like, some defense on here, some shooting on here. So we shall see. I guess when we put it all together, it should work out. But again, we shall see. These short clips, they resigned Corey Joseph and they brought up Ward Trey Lyles and Kelly Olenek. So definitely bring some good defense to his team, some toughness to it. He was solid with Miami. And even when he was with the Celtics, he was solid. Now, what's the one thing I like about the Knicks, even though they are my team's rivals, one thing I like about the Knicks is that they decided to keep their cores together and they brought back their pros. They brought back their Blood, they brought back Taj Gibson, and they also brought back Nerlens Noel. They picked up two point guards in Eddie Fournier and Kimba Walker. And I think that this pickup for Kimba Walker, this is just going to revitalize his career. I feel like he kind of went under the radar when he was with the Celtics. He was hurt part of the time, and then I just think another part of the time he just wasn't on his A game, and then he was the OKC for a little bit. But I think now that he's at home in New York where he's from, he's going to shine once again. Plus this team just came from the playoffs, and we kind of into the playoffs in a long time, so they have that hunger and that fire in the side of them. But they're gonna wanna come to every game and compete. So I think Kemba going to the Knicks is Perfect. Like, I really feel like he's going to shine. He's been one of my favorite point guards for years now. But, like I said, he kind of went under the radar. He wasn't playing to his best potential. And so now that he's with the Knicks, I feel like he's just about to go off. And I hope he does. Portland Trailblazers, they decided to bring back Norman Powell. And they also brought on board Cody Zeller and Tony Snell. And being that they lost... Uh, and his cancer once again to the Celtics. Um, I know they would want to have some backup centers and because of Yusuf Nurkic, I won't say he's prone to getting hurt, but he did get hurt um, a few times over these last few seasons. So it'll be good to just to have somebody as a backup center for him. I would like to see the Trailblazers pick up another two or three guard. Um, but we'll see if they make any more moves um, before pre agency. The Toronto Raptors, they retain Gary Trent Jr. and they also pick up Sam Decker and Goran Dragic. Now, Goran Dragic, it was stated that he actually wants to go to the Mavs. So I'm not sure if he wants to stay with Toronto. I think he would be a great addition to Toronto, especially since they just lost Kyle Lowry. He's been in another point guard. And Goran has great experience overseas and in the yeah. I love the way he plays. He's a really good point guard. So I think if Toronto can keep him, that would be great. But also, if he goes to Mavs, that would be great as well. <laughs> I'm guessing Mark Cuban was trying to recoup him. And that's why he said he wants to go to Mavs. But you know, OKC Thunder. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I appreciate the fact that they take care of their main guys. They dropped a bag on Shea Gilchis, and he definitely deserves it. He's a great point guard. He just gets better and better each season. I think now we're in his third or fourth season, and he just seems to improve and improve every year. I hope they'll be able to pick up some more pieces for the team, though, just so they can actually contend, it, um, <clears throat> contend this season for a championship. You know, the Thunder, their fan base is so great and I know they probably miss you know seeing their team in the playoffs especially when uh, CP3 last season was the fun and they also brought back Mike Muscala so Philadelphia they re-signed Gorkhan Korkmaz who is a sharp shooter I'm surprised he didn't get more money um, just because he's pretty pretty consistent when it comes to shooting he's a good spot up guy so I'm surprised he didn't get more money um, for his contract. Maybe I saw people with, uh, I don't want to say his name wrong. I don't know if it's four boys or if it's George's Yang. They also picked him up in Andre Drummond. Andre is a great center to me. He's another one of those players who I feel like he's kind of flown under the radar. He's been playing, I feel like, to his best potential. And hopefully this change of scenery will help him 
to bring that that part of his game back out. Him playing behind goal and D, I'm sure they're gonna squash the beat because now they're the same team together. Um, and he's back up. I think Andre is a strong backup for him. Now his shooting isn't all of that, but when it comes to these things, he's wonderful and that will actually help to open up the floor because he can really post up and be down low and do what he needs to do in the paint while everyone else can uh, create shots and get their shots up. Alright, here we go. Sacramento Kings, I don't know what it is with them, but they obviously have an obsession with big men. Like, they literally brought <laughs> literally brought on four sensors. Now, re-signing re -signing Rashawn Holmes to me was a big W. Did I say four centers? I'm sorry. They brought back, th they brought on three centers. Now, re-signing Rashawn to me is a smart move. He's a very solid sensor, very underrated sensor in my opinion. And then um, they also brought on Alex Lynn and Tristan Thompson as backups. More Harkless, he's a great player. I loved when he was with the Portland Trail Blazers years ago. And each team that he joins, he just always adds value. Uh, he pays attention to defense and he does what he has to do uh, if necessary on the offensive end. It's good that they got backup sensors. Sometimes big men, their joints and limbs, they can take a little more stress than other players just because big men tend to be bigger. They tend to have more weight. So I feel like it's good that they have some backup sensors so not so one sensor isn't dealing with as much stress and wear and tear on their body throughout the season. Especially because next season is going to be regular. It's going to be 82 games once again. So you're going to have to be able to pace yourself and keep your body pretty healthy throughout the season and possibly into the playoffs. So um, while I do think it's a lot that the Kings picked up so many centers, I do kind of understand why they did. Houston Rockets, they beside David Mwaba, and they bring on Daniel Tice. Brooklyn Nets, they bring back Blake Griffin, and they pick up Patty Mills, LeBron Jr., and Daniel Johnson. Wizards pick up Spencer Dangwitty, and Hornets pick up Ish Smith. And for the Wizards, I think the Spencer pickup is absolutely a W. Um, he always performs well. I think he had to take a back seat once KD and Kyrie and James Harden came on board to the net. But to me, Spencer is just, he's a really good point guard. Him and Bradley Beal in the backcourt, I think it could be very, very beneficial for the Wizards team. And hopefully he'll have the green light to really do his thing. Um, as a point guard in Washington, and he can help bring winning culture back. They definitely need it. Um, you know, Westbrook plays so hard, um, but they weren't able to make the playoffs this past season. And then with John Walk on, it's just been. I know it's been tough on the Wizards fans, honestly. Um, so I think Spence will definitely help to bring back winning culture to this team. Orlando pick up Robin Lopez and Boston picks up in his cancer. I don't know what Boston's thing is with playing hot potato with the friggin' trailblazers and they keep swapping him. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But yeah, and this goes back. Boston. Okay guys, so quick change of scenery. My lighting in my other uh, in my other setup kind of was acting weird. So I'm just gonna finish off the video here uh, in another room. Nuggets decided to re-sign Jermichael Green, Will Barton, and Austin Rivers. And they were important parts of the playoff run that the Nuggets made last season. And they also picked up Jeff Green. New Orleans Pelicans re-signed Didi Luzada. I hope I said that right. <laughs> they also picked up Devontae Graham, which is a major W, especially since they lost Lonzo Ball. Picking up Devontae, OMG. He was great with the Hornets, observing his career ever since he started in the NBA. And he's just been awesome. So I think this is a great pickup for the Pelicans. They'll play really good alongside Zion and and they also picked up Garrett Temple from the 
Bulls, I think was his last team. The Golden State Warriors. I don't think anybody kind of doubted that Steph Curry. I know I didn't doubt that Steph Curry was going anywhere. I'm sure there were people that were speculating that he would go elsewhere, but I feel like Steph, it's only right that he retired as a warrior. Um, so the fact that the Warriors spent this bag on him, 215 for four years, it only, it's only right. It only makes sense to me. I definitely think he still has some things left in the tank, especially after this last season. I know he can definitely help bring the Warriors to some more championship runs in the future. I'm just excited to see them. Like, I'm just ready to see the team fully healthy. Like, we didn't get a chance to see Clay play last year. It just sucks because Clay is such a great player. And he, you want to see players like that in their prime at their best going stronger in their career. So, hopefully this year the Warriors can really like revamp. And I also like the pickup of Nemanja Bailey. Okay, Nemanja Bailey said he's one of those all-in-one players. He hits that screen, he helps defend, he gets buckets. Like I've been paying attention to him since he was on the team. And I always appreciate his talent of play and how hard working he is. So I think him on the Warriors, I think the Warriors fan base is going to love him. If the Warriors decide to keep him, I think they're going to love him. And also they picked up Otto Porter Jr. for two years. Now Hot fans, y'all know I had to save my best for my last, okay? We in here, period. We getting bags all day. <laughs> No, let me stop. No, but for, we're getting bags. Like, I'm so happy that we kept our core. I'm so grateful. Shout out to Travis Slink, our GM. We kept Trey. We got him a big bag. We got John Collins a big bag. We got Solo back. I love Solo. He plays so hard. He's such a great defender. Like, fucks with Solo. And then we also picked up a backup center in Gorky Chang. So now we have Capella and Okong Wu and Jing. Are you kidding me? And then we also picked up our draft picks, Sheree Cooper and Jalen Johnson. Also, a big shout out to them. But y'all, as a Hawks fan, like, it just feels good to finally, like, we're finally making moves that make sense. I feel like for years, like, I just don't know. Like, our team was just, we didn't have, I feel like we didn't really have a, like, culture and we were just all over the place with the moves that were being made it just didn't seem like it was making sense and now these past few years ever since picking up john collins like things have been making sense it's like a breath of fresh air for us hot fans so yeah i'm happy that we retained our core and we really didn't have to give up a lot. I'm looking forward to this season. Hopefully, I made it easier for you guys to keep track of the moves and free agency so far this year. I know for me, it can be kind of like what we get when all these moves are going on at one time. I'm just like trying to keep track and process them and remember who is where. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel to grow and it helps me know what kind of content to create. And um, it just allows me to keep creating more videos like this. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I will see y'all in my next one. Really never made no difference with the shit made Jaja told me flip them packs and how to maintain Get that money back and spend it on the same thing Shorty like the way that I ball out I be getting money top fall out